Hello again from Serendipity Forge. Uh, it's been a busy day as always. Um, in our last video, we welded up a Damascus billet and I got as far as forge welding the, the, the billet together into 13 layers. And the intention was to triple that layer count or quadruple that layer count and then grind a layer off so I'd have 51 layers because the, uh, the customer had specified 51 layers of Damascus. Well, it worked out just fine. As a matter of fact, it worked out so well that I was able to cut off some of that low layer Damascus, the uh, 13 layer billet that I originally made and save it back for future projects. So I was, I didn't manage to get the 51 layer um, billet being forged out and twisted and the work that went into it done. Um, but today's video is going to be of me forging out one of the 13 layer uh, billets uh, for my low layer count twist Damascus, forging it out into what is as, it's the kind of stock that I keep laying around for future projects. If I want to forge another forge another knife, a smaller knife, then I'll have plenty of steel to work on or to work with with this billet that I've got. Now it's 13 layers, 1095 and 15N20 with a twist pattern. Um, you can see what I start out with here in just a minute. It's just a small billet, maybe inch by inch and a half and probably about three and a half, four inches long. I forge it out to uh, three eighths by one inch, three eighths by seven eighths, three quarters, something like that. I believe the end measurements were three eighths by one inch. And that's good enough because I'm going to forge that three eighths inch down. And as I forge it down thinner, it's going to spread out. And I'll have enough to make an inch and a half wide knife blade, no problem. But that's what I do sometimes when I've got extra Damascus. I'll make that billet up, pre-make it, lay it aside, and then the next time I have a build, I'm ready to go. So I promised in the last video that I'd show you how I do a twist. And today I got in a new action camera, never used it before. Took it right up to the, took it out of the box, took it right up to the forge. Went to work with it. You're gonna notice it's got the time and date counter in the bottom. I apologize for that, ignore it. I didn't know it was gonna be in there, but I don't have time to go back and make another video. Don't have time to go edit it out. So just ignore it. Um, I did finish up the 51 layer to the point where I could get a test etch on it. Um, got it rough forged and did a little test etch not sure how well this pattern's gonna show in this camera, but as you can see, um, that's a pretty good looking pattern. I'm pretty well pleased with that. I believe the customer will be too. Anyway, watch the video, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you when we're done. All right, we've got our 13 layer Damascus billet. Welded on an old piece of scrap round stock for a handle. That's uh, about three and a half inches long, uh, about an inch by inch and a half. Break it down and make it work. Get it hot. First thing we're gonna do is go to the power hammer and we're gonna start drawing this billet out. The whole goal here is to put the twist in. So the billet needs to be drawn out square and of a manageable size to be able to twist fairly easily. So we're drawing it out length. And I'm also working the width back in because I want this billet square. So that's what we're doing.
All right, it's squared up pretty good. I'm gonna go back to the forge here in a minute and get a nice even heat and come back to the power hammer and I'm gonna knock the corners down and round it up. I'm leaving a square spot on each end and the middle section of the billet, I'm knocking down round. I'm knocking the corners in and I'll round it up. That's so when I twist, I don't have the corners folding over and making cold shuts in my billet, which will happen if you twist square. Yeah, it's getting pretty good. Yep. Round in the middle, square on each end. And to make sure my wrench fits. Take a nice, even heat. And go over to the vise. That shop really is a mess. I've got to clean it up one of these days. Snug it up, put the wrench on, and twist. And you can see the scale popping off as the steel moves. I probably should have switched to the helmet mount for the camera, but I just couldn't be bothered to do it. Oh, well. Better luck next time. So you can really see how the uh, billet's twisting, and you can see how the corners... If that had been left square, the corners would make a spiral pattern. And then when you work it back out to square, they'd fold back in and make cold shuts. Brush everything off. Now, I could add a little flux at this point just to keep everything clean, but I don't think it's needed. Yeah, back into the fire. and we'll get back to working it out square. Back to the hammer and draw it down. I'm looking for a end measurement of uh, eight inches by around three eighths. to finish this billet. And then when I get ready to forge a knife, I can, um, I'll have plenty of steel to work with because it's, it's gonna widen as I forge a blade and the handle. Cause nobody wants a 3 8 inch thick spine on a small knife. So when I get ready to actually use this to make a knife, I'll forge it out wider down a quarter, eight, uh, quarter inch, three sixteenths thickness, and that'll widen it out quite a bit. And I'll have plenty of steel to work with. Just need to keep working it out. That's looking pretty good. I think maybe, maybe one more time. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Just to even it up a little bit. Pretty good. All 
I believe that'll do. I'm gonna lay that aside and let it cool, and when I get ready to forge a, another little Damascus blade, I've got my stock ready, I'm ready to go. All right, so that was not quite real time, but eh, for pretty close. Uh, forging the, the billet, getting the forge weld set initially, that's the hard part. That hard part was done before we even shot the video today. So, you know, things got to move, got to move on pretty, pretty smoothly. Um, didn't really run into any hiccups. Um, after the billet had cooled, I went back and looked at it. Didn't have any cold shuts. Didn't have any delaminations. Everything looked great. That's going to be a piece of steel I can forge out and use for a knife blade here in the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll be putting in the like and subscribe button. Be sure to give us a like, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment if you've got some ideas for future content. I'd be happy to hear from you. I'm always happy to hear from everybody out there. Um, I said in, I've said in a couple of videos, we're going to be putting, I'm going to be putting some fishing videos on the channel. I hope to get around to trying that out this weekend. We'll see how that works. Otherwise, it will we'll be coming back to you from the forge. Have a blessed night and thanks for watching.